My out just dropped on Globo today, so I wanted to take a uh, moment here and make an extended showcase because um, I've done some wacky stuff for now. But other than the first video, I haven't really been um, really focusing on just trying him on his best, or what I think is his best, and um, seeing how he really fares against other like more competitive players. So I'm gonna try this out. I have not used Green Zaldris on this team quite yet, but Green Saurio obviously is a really good debuffer. So I'm expecting to be able to reap the benefits of using Green Zaldris quite a bit, getting his 24% basic stats and uh, the 10% attack really is that lower, so long as we don't face other Archangels, which also can't be lowered, uh, just like our team won't be able to be lowered, which is one of the greatest benefits of using Mael. Any of the demon teams I face, it would just be um, it would just be like a disaster for them. Their whole gimmick is to lower me with Chandler, lower me with Zeldris, and they can't. So I've much been preferring using the uh, Ragnarok Pawn because of the 10% crit chance. If you've seen uh, the showcases, you know Mael can be uh, funny with his. With his crits, right? It can be a really funny boy. Okay, a little laggy. Uh, I'm gonna assume dodge food, so I'm gonna do this right here. Yeah, I didn't even bother like buffing before the attack because I assumed he had dodge food, and we're gonna be uh, saving our mile cards to use next turn. He's probably gonna cleanse the debuffs, which is unfortunate because. You know, those debuffs are great for buffing our basic stats. Having Margaret and Zeldris, I think, would be great for our basic stats, but... So next turn, right? Oh, he has Nanashi. Cringe. Uh, okay. Yeah, Nanashi has been the uh, other prominent character people have been using. Let's, uh, let's think about this. I'm, I'm thinking of just popping Margaret buff again. Um, so that these all combine. Like, a Pop my rebuff, pop the counter, then level 2 with my L. Thinking about doing that. Hmm. Or, alternatively, we can just push on my L ultimate. I think that can work too. Yeah. Yeah. I think that can work too. He could kill my Saurio. That's definitely a possibility. Um, no, we can't push the Mael ultimate, because I, I think he kills Mael. I, I'm just gonna go for this, and hopefully do a bunch of damage to Margaret. This, our stats are gonna be very high, we have max Zeldris passive, and we have basically max Margaret passive. Oh my god, I should've gone for Mael. 500k, essentially. Damn, so his Mael loses a goddess. He's gonna be doing le less damage. And he doesn't have cleanse anymore. So our uh, Sauriel, pass Sauriel debuffs are gonna stay, which is great. Because um, now our, our you know, Zaldra's passive is more guaranteed. And even if he goes for an ultimate now, I can actually lower his damage, which is also pretty good. He probably will go for an ultimate. No, he just backs out. He... he <laughs> He knows losing a goddess is really detrimental. There's for sure one of the worst parts about Mael. If you lose one of your goddesses, it's it's practically over. And there's no back goddess in the game that's actually good. So you're left there just as a sitting duck, essentially. You lose not only 30% extra damage for your single target, which is big, a pretty big deal, but you lose attack related stats, which is also a big deal. Or just all stats, you lose all stats, right? It is a huge deal. So, I don't know, it's, it's, um... They need, they need a back unit for, for a mile. They need a back unit. Having to use Zeldris, having to use Ragnarok, Bond, and Nashi, it's just... Very... Inconsistent. You know, I think Mile is in a worse position than, like, for example, Astorosa was when he first came out. Obviously, Astorosa, like, you know, eventually got so many demons and <laughs> Purgatory Mali which is a crazy unit. Um, but even when Asterosa first came out, he already had good units. Like, he had Chandler. He had 
trader melee, he had green Zaldris, right? Mael is in a, really is in a much worse situation where... Ah, uh, if I had a little more... Uh, a few more crits, man. A few more crits and that would have been a guaranteed kill. Ah, uh, like... This is why I prefer Ragnarok Bond. I think I will swap back to him. The little bit of extra crit chance, like it makes a difference. It truly makes a difference. Because if you hit one more crit on that barrage of misses, it makes a huge difference. But this will kill Mali. And then this will kill Chandler. Mm -hmm. But again, I only hit one crit. It's like Mael is a very impressive unit. Very, very impressive unit. But the units around him kind of suck. <laughs> Green Sour L is okay. It's like, the taunt is really great. Obviously, taunt is always going to be a fantastic asset. The counters are pretty good. You don't do the most damage. But they're pretty good. The debuffs are pretty good. Right? There's a lot of pretty good things about him. But there's no amazing thing about him. Um, and then Margaret. The blue card is great. It really is. The blue card is great. You have damage reduction, damage increase, cleanse. So many great things about the blue card. But the attack card sucks major balls. Like, this just doesn't cut, you know? For this day and age. Like, she's kind of old. She came out right after Purgatory Bond. So, it's, it's excusable, right? But I don't know, we need, uh, we need better units for my guy to really be considered by, you know, the general player base as actually, like, the best. Because as is, I feel, you know, a lot of people are still underestimating how powerful he is. He's very strong. He is, like, toe-to-toe -to -toe with Askenor in, like, damage. The only time where Askenor really outdamages him is, one... Askador can have Merlin Link, which gives him crit chance, which is huge. True, you can use Green Galfer, which will give you like more crit chance. Well, you can't use Green Galfer of my own because you have to use a full goddess team. And three, when Askador dies, his level three AoE is absurd, which you really only see because you can use rank up when you're using Askador, right? You can't really use rank up when using my own. So there's that. Um, Miles level 3s are absurd as well, you know? <sighs> Man. I don't want to use my old single target because I know the character that I killed is going to revive. So I'm going to do this. I should have attacked with Sarah first, I'm stupid. The debuffs will give him more stats. Can Margaret break the shield? I don't know. That's tough. Well, it's an AI, but the rank up on Mali is actually pretty tough for me. This will give me damage reduction. And then I'll attack, so that's gonna cleanse Melly. And then the debuff from my L will actually um, lower his damage even further. So I have mega damage reduction. Oh, I hit so hard on, on the list this time. Have mega damage reduction plus his damage lowered. So he should be alright. It's crazy how much of a pain the ass Goddess Liz's shield is right now. Because every card has effects. Every card has like a lower multiplier, but then has an effect that increases the damage substantially. Which is perfect for Goddess Liz, because those cards suck against her. Margaret's card has a decent multiplier though, for an AoE. But has a terrible effect, so it's the opposite. Nice. 
Thank you for hitting those crits, Mael. Th those were very helpful. On killing that. Uh, I don't have... Okay. I just, we'll just see the, the, the ult damage. I don't have a blue card to increase damage even further, but it's okay. We'll just take a look at the, the ult damage. The ult is pretty crazy, I think. I don't know which is the strongest ultimate in the game. Right now. I genuinely don't know. My ult might be the strongest. At 6-6, six, six, obviously. I, I, can't, I don't have a frame of reference to compare like ults at 1-6 because 1-6 ults are generally very weak nowadays, um, especially with festival units. The higher their ult level, they get like more and more stuff on the ultimate itself. I think at 1-6 might be Askenor. Because Askenor just gets multiplier for, her ult for his ultimate and then the revives, right? Another one of these? Not Red Gapper this time though. Um, okay. This time I actually think there's dodge food because he's a real player, so let's do like this. Yep. Oh, that damage is good. Liz has Tarmio Link. Who's gonna get a Nashi passive? Let's see. Oh, no, Nanashi. Huh? Who's in the back then? That is weird. Hmm. Oh, I'm pretty conflicted here. I'm pretty conflicted. Oh, I don't know if... Damn it. Ah, this might be a bad idea. No, but she's gonna full heal. No, because of Tarmia Link. No, I wanted to damage lower the melee. The Tarmia Link. I forgot that the more damage I do, the more he heals, obviously, right? I should have saved that single target to one shot melee. Okay. I made a huge mistake. Yeah, that's my bad. I don't know what to do. I don't know what what I could have done. I should I should have saved the single target. Okay, I'm not shooting him again. Hmm. How about this time, right? Can I one-shot the Liz? She's an old unit. Alright, no more revive. No more revive. Those two AoEs will obliterate melee. But this time I'm gonna play my cards better. He's going for Gaffer's ultimate. Gaffer's ultimate is way less scary. Oh, he's not actually. Okay. Gaffer's ultimate is way less scary though. If he had gone for it. We're gonna put on the counter. We're gonna pop the blue card and move this. Melee without an attack buff ain't doing shit. So. Alright. It's over for you, buddy. We're just gonna break the shield and obliterate melee. That's fine. Alright, no shield. And then... Boom. He's gonna lose his damage reduction. This is gonna do a lot of damage in general. Might even kill this. Sorry, I just f basically full wiped him <laughs> with level chip. Ah, uh, when you connect the crits, man. 
It's so strong. He is so goddamn strong. That's good. Now I know for future reference what to do against Liz's. Liz has awful stats because she's old. You can just one shot her. Um. Okay. No Margaret. Just Sario and Liz. Red Sario! Well, thank you for the free win, sir. That's a level 2 counter just for funsies, then. I mean, Red Star isn't the worst thing ever. The basic stat boost is cool. It's just he isn't very good. I mean, the Power Strike... I have to assume my characters, especially Mao has a decent amount of resistance, but still. Okay. Let's uh do a level two again. I actually wanna see how much damage it does. I assume not much actually. My my do and Sario. Yeah. My has a lot of resistance or crew resistance. So it's a different story. Green Sario is so much better than red Sario. I don't think I have to tell you this, but he gives he gives crit damage, and Mayao has a card that doubles crit damage. It's just perfect, right? It's just the perfect combination to use. Green. This is why this is why this combo works so well. Green Sario needs buffs to give crit damage, so you have Margaret, Mael, which it's funny because when Green Sario first came out, I assumed Mael would be a crit based character just because my uh, Sario buffs crit damage, and he is, but, you know, took forever. <laughs> took forever for that reveal to actually come to fruition, right? Um, but, you know, Mar you need the buffs, so you need Margaret, and then, so they complement each other, and then they complement so uh, Mayo, because also Margaret's giving damage reduction, damage increase, everything. It just works. It just works. I'm really glad that the one team I lost in this video is like really wacky, like Goddess Liz. Because he just goes to show, right? You never, you never know. People come up with the wackiest things and it just works. I mean, Goddess Liz right now is in a pretty good position, which is kind of weird to say. So it's not completely unexpected. Oh no, should have saved the Sario card. Uh, I don't know how well this card will be to break King's Shield. Oh, he's gonna go for the level 3 Askenor. Okay. Will it kill? I have so much damage reduction. It did not. That's unfortunate, buddy. Um... And I'll kill you. Why not King? Uh, oh, wow. Never mind. <laughs> Galfrey is a much, much bigger risk when you kill Askenor. Incomparable. To any other character in the game. Uh, let's go for this. Yep, dodge. HP defense melee. No, actually, Sario AoE is very concerning. Uh, Very concerning. So here's what we're gonna do. Do I just trust? I'm just gonna trust. 
I'm just gonna trust on the AoEs. Shouldn't have trusted. Uh, sorry, oh, you can do it. Yeah, good job. What I was gonna do instead is actually just single target Chandler, because my level one single target one shots Chandler like every time. Oh, Fraudron. Level 80 is interesting. Not gonna lie, I kind of wish my all was a basic stat booster for goddesses. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be getting one that's actually good in PvP. Unlike, you know, Tarmiel, Liz. But... I kind of wish it was. I think it could be great for the team that we currently have, but... Maybe not for a future team. I'm a little concerned this would one-shot Askenor. Because my idea here is I think I want to kill Fraudrin. And then kill Askenor. That's the, you know... The way to go. I think I'm gonna... That's fine. Killing Fraudrin this turn is useless. I don't know why he would go for that. Now I can just do this. I don't know why he would go for that. Fraudrin dying only works if he dies on the turn, or the, the, the turn before you actually can, you know, take the fruits of the, the, the passive. If he just dies in your turn, then your enemy has full chance to just do whatever it wants. <laughs> oh, that is pretty good. But here is what we're gonna do. He doesn't have Chandler, so I have nothing to worry about. Oh, he doesn't have dodge. Okay. Okay. I was expecting dodge. If I was not expecting dodge, I would have just gone for it. I would have just gone. But it's alright. Level 2 counter. I have so much damage and damage reduction. Plus, I'm gonna max out Zarya's passive. Zarya maxed out. Melly is being 10% attack related stats lowered, which is pretty good. Now he got some basic stats out of that. Which is not ideal, but who cares? We're just gonna hit him with this right here. Could he survive this if he has Tormia Link? I don't know actually. If he survives this, full heals. Which he didn't, because obviously. Then this is gonna just. Yeah. It's just really unfortunate that he misses half the crits. Because if I didn't miss half the crits, the numbers would be so much better. But you know, can't have everything. If he was more consistent with the crits, it, he might actually just be way too strong. Like, way too strong. Which, you know, would that be such a bad thing? I don't know. <laughs> Isn't like almost every festival too strong on release? I'll go for Askana. Uh No! See, I missed so many crits. If I didn't miss so many crits, it would Oh my god, level three! <gasps> okay. We're gonna double attack with Sauriel. No, don't kill! Don't kill King! Asker can die, it's fine, because he has the second life. I don't think it will kill anyways, because it's shield. Okay. Would one Sariel card be enough to break King's shield? I hope so. I want to see this damage. Don't kill Asker. Okay. 
That's pretty good. It's like, like I said, Askenor, when he is dead, like right now, which is kind of scary, and he gets like a level 3 AoE, he fully wipes your team, right? And that's like the same level, I feel like, of damage. That just... Damage enough to just full wipe a whole team, regardless of who they are. Uh, let's make sure Ask. Listen, Askenor is, st is still scary. Let's just uh, not do a single target just for the sake of seeing damage. Let's just make sure we end it in this turn here. <laughs> oh. Unique opportunity to the level 2 AoE. Will I take it? I think I will. I don't know if he has dodge fruit, because I didn't pay attention to how much CC he has. Uh, I guess we'll find out. I missed about every crit! This madness. <laughs> This madness is going to kill me! Ah, oh, the inconsistency on the crits. Oh, it's the one bad thing about him. Genuinely. Oh, damn, Cyrus dead. Um... <sighs> Melee full heals, but... Man, I missed like every crit! I, I hit like one! That's insane. Okay, I think this will kill Asterosa. Although we did lose a goddess. So... My damage is uh, a little lower now. And by a little, I mean a lot lower. God damn. Okay, he's going to do my, my L, but I think the multiplier is high enough that he's still one shot. Uh, he can't encroach me, but, you know, the more darkness I have on me, the more damage a Soros single target does. So, even if I can't be encroached, the darkness still hurts. Okay. He should have done the opposite. I still wouldn't have killed, but... Uh, have no choice. Wish I had kept the cleanse, I'm not gonna lie. Well, still worked out, because my team is very tanky and I can't be stat lord. If I could have been stat lord, I would have I would have died. The inconsistency, man. On the crits. Ah, it kills me. One of these, okay. Okay. Um. Would this kill Liz? <laughs> I think so. Right, let's do this. Again, it doesn't matter if Liz attacks me and, and like, kill herself. I mean, she can't really because she needs a level 2. Okay, it's an AI. But how... How would I do it? It's very complicated because of Twiggle's taunt. Would a level 1 single target in the first turn have killed Twigo? Is my question. Because if so, then... Cool, I can do that. No, a level 2 didn't kill in the second turn. I think I just lose. Just simple as that, I, I just lose. There's nothing I can do. I'll have to get incredibly lucky with my L cards to win. 
Because, like, it's there for the fraud run. Because... I can just AoE three times. Because fraud run doesn't full heal. But Liz does. Liz's full heal is uh, the detrimental part. I think I would just actually just lose. Dodge food? Question mark? Probably. Yep. The crits, man, make a difference. They truly do. Okay. I think I'm good on killing the Melly here. I can blue card with uh, Margaret. I think this kills Melly. We'll find out together. Or do I go for Chandler? I might not be as keen on the... Mel level 1. But it worked before, so... I think I, I just gonna get lucky, actually. Let's see. I'm gonna need some RNG here. Like, on the crits. Good RNG. I hit, like, half the crits. I think that's more than good enough. Yep. Okay, now, see, the thing is, after Mali dies, his throws is just completely screwed. Like, the fact that he can't encroach me is so huge. It's really like, how can you even win? Even when Esterosa, like, last match had three darkness on me, he still couldn't do anything, damage-wise. Oh, no cleanse. Is he gonna disable Mile as well? No. That's a weird choice. Okay. Very weird choice. Sure. I... Listen... I guess, man. I guess... <laughs> I don't... I would have... Dis I mean, disabling Margaret was the best option. Because she can just cleanse, but... There was not much he could do. I, I can't blame him. I don't know if it's dodge food or a bot. It was very low CC. It might be dodge food, so... Oh uh, yeah, it's gonna go with this. He's gonna put his own taunt, but luckily for me, I have a level 2 my L card. No dodge! What then? I'm confused. Ooh, can I go for a level 3 single to, uh, AoE? <gasps> no Nanashi either. Damage reduction, okay. Ha. Huh. That damage reduction makes me a little scared I'm not gonna be able to kill. Because he might even have Tarmio in the back. But, let's go for it. Okay, I do kill. Does he have Tarmio in the back? I haven't used blue Tarmio as a damage reduction source. Yet. He does not. He has green gill. <gasps> Please don't back out. Please. <gasps> no! No! I wouldn't have done as much damage because it's a goddess team, so they're pretty tanky, but still. Okay. Liz instead of Margaret. Love to see it. I'm gonna, again, test out for dodge food. Because if I am to waste a mile single target, very, that's very sad. No dodge. What are they using? Because this guy also has very low CC. HP? It's not ult, or else they would have true ultimate gauge. Crit chance? I believe, I believe. If you told me crit chance, I believe. 
Because Mayo, uh, <laughs> he feels like he needs it. That was a lot of damage down. Maybe attack. Cleanse off those debuffs. Another stance. Hopefully one shot to Sauriel. Should I have gone for Sauriel's ultimate? Mm, I think his, I think Mayo would kill me. Oh, so beautiful when he crits every time. It's so beautiful. Askenor. Damn, one off to level 3. I've been getting close to level 3s recently. Okay, he's just pushing ults. Um, let's do this. Maximize the debuffs. And then... Hey man, it's not gonna happen. I'm sorry, bro. I have the maximized crit damage as well from Sario. Now even gonna take a stack off of Askinor. Oh my god, the AOE is so good. It's so goddamn good. Same guy? Yeah, I think so. Level two, my all single target. If it is the same guy, I think it is the same guy. I'm gonna go for this. I think it is. Reason why is so he loses uh, one of the stacks, so his single target's weaker, and he loses a goddess as well. He might be able to kill my Mael with the level 2 single target. If he gets like Askinor cards, I think it's possible, so might not have been the best idea, but we'll find out. Goes for Margaret. Yeah, look how much weaker a single target is. Like I have layers of damage reduction, like Margaret plus my L. But still, let's go for uh, this. Right here. Take out whom I mean, does Mayo even matter now that I killed one of the goddesses? I don't know. Might have been able to, might, might have been better to take out Askinor. Instead of focusing on Mayo, but that just removes damage reduction from Liz as well. No, but uh, yeah, uh, the moment one of your goddesses died, Mayo is so weak. That's like the worst thing about him. By far the worst thing. It's like it doesn't matter. Who else you got with you? Because so many of the goddesses are so old. That they're very easy to kill. Like Saurio, right? And Saurio is not a festival unit either. So he doesn't have the best of stats. It's like for a lot of the times, you know, if you're using like Melly, for example, Chandler can die and you can still win. An attack seal. Oh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> attack seal, you say? Okay. Let's do this then. Come on, attack seal me. Go for it. I'm right here waiting for that. Come on. Go for the attack seal. Oh, mm. I was gonna go for the kill on Rimuru, but I guess I'm gonna have to go for the kill on... Oh, perfect. He went for ultimate on Echidna. I'll go for the kill on her. And we'll be all good. Almost don't want a blue card. So that Rimuru doesn't get his passive. And I think I will not. Oh, I should've... I'm dumb. I should've actually... Attacked with Mile first, so that Sauria wouldn't lose ultimate gauge, but it's okay. Okay. By Akina, by stats. Hello, Nanashi. It's okay. Rimuru still doesn't have the Pierce because I have Margaret. Thanks, Margaret. It still doesn't have the Pierce because I have not. Given him the right to take all my buffs. 
Yeah, good damage rumor. Where's your pierce buff, buddy? He should have attack sealed me. If you if you attack seal me, you force my hand. And I have to use the blue card which you want me to use. Shake my head. If I use the blue card, your Rimuru gets the pierce buff. This guy. Uh, Rimuru should have the pierce now, actually. No, one more turn. I just didn't blue card a single time. Didn't have to. He didn't force my hand. Until now. I will blue card now. Just for extra damage. Oh. Thank you, Sario. Very nice. Another one of these. Unsurprising. Um, let's just go with this. No, no dodge. Uh, Tarmio link on Melee is pretty concerning for me. Actually, not good. They always disable Sauria. It's really strange. I think... The best course of action is to kill Asterosin. So I'm just gonna do this. To maximize the basic stats. Margaret, like three stacks, and then Zeldris. This will kill Starosa. It did not kill Starosa! Oh no, goodbye, Sario. Oh, it's an AI. Well, I'm surprised it didn't kill Starosa. Very surprised. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we move on. Very surprised. That should have killed. I swear I should have killed. He had like less than half his health. I mean, I'm expecting a lot from like a level one card, but still. Fraudrin. We've already been over Fraudrin. Let's uh, do this. Again, it doesn't matter if Fraudrin, like, attacks and kills himself because it's not like they can use the ultimate on that very same turn. That just allows me to just AoE. Oh, Merlin's a different story, but I think we should be okay. Oh, I really want to level 3 with Margaret, but... It's just not gonna happen. Or... Level 2. Ooh. We're okay. Okay. This is where... <laughs> Do I trust the level 3 Margaret damage, in damage increase plus attack is enough to make Miles level 1 kill Askenor? I only have one chance of finding this out and it's right now. At this very moment, it's literally the only time I'll be able to try this. If he hits the crits! Oh my god, bro. I'm telling you, man. I have so much damage reduction, though. Yeah. I'm gonna bat that 6 6. 5-6. Would've killed Sauriel maybe at 6-6? Six, six? I don't know. Bro. 
every match, essentially, man. It's like, if he had a little more crit chance, and again, if I had, like, Ragnarok Bond instead of Zaldus, maybe it would be the case, but I still think with Ragnarok Bond, it's still, like, not there, you know what I mean? Like, the extra 10% from Ragnarok Bond isn't enough, he needs, like, a little bit more than that. And then he actually can be consistent. Like, if he, if he hit one more crit out of those non-crit hits, it would have killed Askana with a level 1 card. But how much damage increase is this again? Um, 50. Then 40 damage reduction, 60. We had 80% damage reduction. We had 20 on Escanor, right? And then we had... Um, we had 60 on ourselves. The, ma the math doesn't add up exactly like that, but it's close enough. We had like probably like about like 60 something uh, damage reduction to tank that ultimate. And my ult like took very well, but Sauro almost died. I've been seeing a few people run this. <laughs> the goddess Liz did catch me off guard once, so I'm not gonna underestimate her. Let's do this. Oh, no dodge. Does he have... Marmus? I think he might. I don't know, he felt like... Hmm. Maybe he has a green gill thunder, I don't know. The Liz felt pretty tanky. Like we've previously seen, the Margaret AoE is pretty good at breaking the shield, but that was without so much damage reduction. Let's see if it still holds true or not. That will hopefully kill the Liz. Nice. That will be revive gone. Or damage lowering my ult is good. I don't have a single target. I think I lose. I actually think I'm gonna lose because I, I, I'm not getting any single targets for my L. Okay. If he had pushed the my L ultimate, I would have lost. But he's. I don't know what he's doing. Liz ult? Stun Margaret? Okay. I. Sure, man. I'll attack first with Sour Elch and put some debuffs. Maximize damage. Taking out Goddess, like I said, is a big detriment to my L. I missed about every crit, but thankfully Sauriel is gonna take this. Bro, Sauriel is a savior because he doesn't have to actually crit. <laughs> God damn it, my L. It's Green Yo, yeah. Bro, the, the missed crits are gonna kill me, man. So unfortunate. Uh, he might kill my Sario. He most certainly kills my Sario. Almost didn't because again he was missing uh, a goddess. Uh, so I think here's what we're gonna do. The blue card. This might be a bad idea, but I think if I kill Margaret, I think I did, his damage will be very low, because now he has no goddesses in the field, it's just him, and he won't be able to one-shot me, especially because I also have damage reduction. Oh, he's going to attack. No, the attack buff. No. Oh my god. 6-6 six, six would have killed me. Man, the super tanky my ult team actually kind of works. 
actually kind of works. See, I think Green Gill might actually be better than Nanashi, because you're actually getting the 30% defense really stats to everyone. You know? With Nanashi, you're always like constantly juggling what. Video I see, huh? You're always kind of just like juggling which character is gonna have the uh, <laughs> blue is. Which character is gonna have the freaking uh, defense really a stop buff? Blue Liz. I mean, that's a lot of basic stats. Uh, it is a lot of basic stats. Does she have a stance removal? I didn't know that. She has a stun. Wow. Well, I think I'm gonna go for this. Who has Tarmia Link? I mean, only one person can have it. Why am I? Why, why did I ask that? Uh, <laughs> only she can have it. The double damage lower my all. I'll kill Sauriel, but I'm not gonna kill her. I'm not gonna kill her. Which means my uh. Wait, she got the ult. Green Hendrickson to increase debuff card damage is a very wild choice. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't know she had 5 ultimate gauge. Well, that's on me. But, okay, she did 30k. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a great, great combo there. I'm unironically noting down. <laughs> Green Hendrickson. To increase my debuff card damage on the video. I mean, listen, goddesses have no back unit, you know? No real back unit. So, no harm in trying some random stuff. No dodge. Hit a good amount of crits there. Nice. Tarmiel Link! No! The Tarmiel and Kamali's men. Uh, he had low CC, so I double attacked. That might actually lose me the match. Okay, as long as Sario survives. Okay. I think we're good. No, I should've... It's fine. Should've stands first, so I don't lose the buff. We'll be okay. Alright, I need one more my out card to be more safe. Uh... Doing the card order wrong might actually kill me. Because, you know, lifesteal is great, but we'll see. Uh, okay. I can't be encroached, like I've said, but darkness does, in fact, still increase damage I take. Okay, the damage increase didn't matter. Fine. Okay. The Tarmia link. Hmm. The Tarmia link might be my downfall. Let's see. This would uh, take out the damage reduction. Crit. Bro, you just had to crit, man. You just had to crit. That's all you had to do, Mile. Was just crit. Literally all you had to do. Nothing else. Ugh. <sighs> mm. 
my damage reduction is very high. So, not unexpected to survive, but... Man, all he has to do is crit. Was that 5 or 6-6? Six, six? No, it's 1 to 2 because he has gray. That was 6-6. Six, six. Hmm. Will level 1 kill Chandler? I don't know. I'm gonna have to bet on that. Because I would like to kill Chandler in Zaldra so he only has one attack. So I don't think he kills my alpha single target. Nice. I can't kill Mali because he has... Uh, not only he not only has damage cap, but he also has uh, Tarmiel Link. Unless he gets like a level 2 or level 3. He won't kill my... If he gets level 3, then whatever, man. <laughs> whatever, man. Will he kill Margaret? He does kill Margaret. Okay. He ain't killing, though. He didn't kill once, he's not killing now. Damage lowered him. I still have my damage reduction. And he doesn't have the attack buff this time. GG, man. <laughs> Go on. Get your, get, your, get your damage cap. If you don't get your damage cap, you're not gonna survive next turn. Yep, good boy. Can't cleanse this. Uh, do I care to getting disabled? I don't. Doesn't matter. I still want damage lower him though. So he's gonna cleanse the red one. But can't cleanse the gray ones. Can't cleanse that one either. This is gonna take forever, Tarmiel Link and stuff. He still killed Zeldris? Bro, Melly is so nuts. Wow. With all that damage reduction. Um, I mean, I can just... All I can do is just sit here and wait for his damage cap to leave. I can't one-shot him, can I? I don't think I can. Well, we'll find out. We will find out. Oh, he didn't want to take out the damage reduction either, huh? Well. More crits, man! More crits! And people are gonna be asking, why don't you just use Death Pierce? First. First. You can't lower Mayo anymore. You can't lower Goddess Teams. If I use Death Pierce, that's me hoping, hoping I don't face any Miles, right? Second. <laughs> Death Pierce will. Lower my CC by 12,000. 12,000. So, if I want to go first, can't use Death Pierce. If I want to go second, Death Pierce isn't going to help you, right? A character like Nanashi will help you if you go second, much more. Even though, I forgot it's actually not, not really, because you don't even get the basic stats in the first turn, but... N Death Pierce is not it. He has horrible CC. And his passive might not even work for a lot of the enemies that you're actually going to be facing. So, don't use Death Pierce. Um, you might crit more often, but you're putting all these things on the table. I just swapped back to Bon, but I think this will be my last match. Kind of wish I was going to reface that guy, because if I had got more crits, I would have easily won. 
but that's the RNG. It is what it is. It is what it is when it comes down to the RNG. Sometimes Mael looks like the best dude in the game, sometimes he looks like a pathetic loser. Because he's just missing all the crits. Like right there, he missed like like 60% of the crits. Uh, do I have one more stamina? No. Well, that was good. The biggest flaw of Mael. Inconsistent crit. That's it. Honestly, he, he needs one good character on his team and it's over.